What's going on everyone? Welcome to the Power of Options webinar from Focus Trades and let's get right into it. Now the goal of today is to quickly give you guys kind of an overview of what options trading is and what an option is and why it is so powerful. Now many of you who are either you know new to trading or haven't traded at all have probably not heard too much about options but today I'm going to try to give you guys a few examples help you wrap your mind around the concept and inspire you because you know the world of options trading guys is just an entirely different world and you know the possibilities that are present to us as options traders are just insane so let's get right into it so the first thing we want to do is kind of get our minds around what an option is now just like a um, you know a share of a stock an option is simply a contract that we that we purchase so you can either you know take for example Apple stock you can go buy shares of Apple or you can go buy options on Apple now the, the main difference here guys between buying a share and an option you know, to put it simply in plain English is that options are like stocks on steroids because they are highly highly leveraged and they're tied to the underlying stock so what that means is for every 1% that the stock itself moves many options are going to move 10 20 even sometimes 50 percent higher from that same move you know so using the same example of apple you can either buy shares of apple or you can buy calls on apple now a call is how you go long via options so you can buy shares of apple or you can buy options if apple stock itself moves one percent depending on which options you buy they are going to increase anywhere from 10 to 20 to 30 percent or higher guys so that right there you know in plain English is the power of options they are incredibly leveraged meaning you know for every winning trade you have with regular shares if you had bought options you're looking at a massively massively bigger return on that same trade so that's really the beauty of it we're trading the same stocks, you know, looking at the same time frames, entries, exit, risk, risk management. Everything is the same, except that when we go pull the trigger to make our investment, we are buying a much more leveraged asset in the options. Now, for us smaller independent traders, this is huge. You know, this drastically, you know, shortens the time it takes to bring a small account from small to big. So that's the power of option, guys. They're like stocks on steroids so it's kind of get a little bit deeper here into you know the power that is leverage oftentimes people will ask me hey man um you know how come you focus so much on options trading and I usually say something like this you know ask yourself would you rather trade a stock in a manner that has potential for you know on a good move one to two percent returns or would you rather trade that same stock same time but in a manner that has the potential for say 50 to 100 percent return on investment in the same time frame i don't know about you guys me personally i'd rather open up myself to that potential of those massive returns and here's what's crazy on any given option or i'm sorry on any given trade you know a good return via options is 50 to 100 percent you know if you catch a great trade you're talking a 200% return or more. So with this kind of leverage, we as independent traders have the potential to take a small, you know, a small account with low capital and, and quickly compound that into, you know, into meaningful numbers, regardless of how small you're starting. So because of this leverage, meaningful income can be made from trading with much smaller risk. Again, guys, if you catch a good trade, you know, nothing crazy, a, a good trade, you know, the stock itself moves, say, one to three percent on your options you're looking at a return of 50 100 percent plus more so if you invest 500 bucks a day or so later options are so leveraged you're looking at a 500 dollar plus return now you know you catch those big trades you know you buy options on a stock and in the time you hold it it moves five to ten percent that's where the madness really comes in and you're looking at returns of anywhere from literally 200 all the way up to 500 percent return on your investment now those are a little less you know frequent than the good trades but again with options a good trade is something i'm sorry a great trade 
is something that can take a hundred dollar investment and turn it into a five hundred dollar profit in short time so the power of options is truly in the leverage and that is huge for us independent traders with smaller accounts so this is kind of where I want to you know open you guys eyes to the potential and you know possibly inspire some of you now you know so if a good options trade can produce a return of a hundred percent in a few days you know for those of you who can't do the basic math you know here's your return you know if you bought a hundred dollars worth of options you know a hundred percent return means you make a hundred dollar return you know you've doubled your money you invested a hundred a few days later you're walking away with a hundred dollar profit on a good trade you invest 200 again guys very simple here now here's where it becomes powerful you know that's a good trade not a huge trade and that's just one so for you high school kids you guys in college you parents who are working full-time you know I, I understand that it can be daunting to get into trading because you have this you know misconception that you need lots and lots of capital to do anything meaningful now keep in mind if you're going to be buying the you know the regular shares of a stock then you know in, in in some truth yes you are going to need bigger size accounts to do anything meaningful but again when we're looking at frequent returns of 100 percent plus on options i mean guys to make a few hundred extra bucks a week which is very meaningful does not take you know big accounts so here's where you college kids and high school kids and you know single parents all of you who have a bunch of things going on other than trading this is where you should get inspired because of the options and the leverage that they have you can begin to make some meaningful returns without having to have you know thousands and thousands of dollars in a trading account so that is another way that options are very powerful again it's that leverage because of that leverage us smaller traders can come in and start to bang out you know some meaningful profits when you have a process in place without having to have you know boatloads of capital so that should be very inspiring to you guys and as a disclaimer not every trade is a winner you know you're gonna have losing trades but again a good trade nothing crazy you know easy to find easy to duplicate you're looking at a hundred percent return so hell even if you have a three hundred dollar trading account and you put a hundred bucks into a trade get a hundred percent return that's huge guys you know an extra hundred bucks a few hundred bucks a week is very possible on a small account now here's a great example of kind of the leverage that you're looking at so yesterday on the 29th I invested 4,000 plus in Delta Airlines options now that's a pretty big size position keep in mind you know my capital level is a bit different than you guys but just you know focus on what I'm saying here I invested 4,000 plus in Delta airline options yesterday as of this right now it is the 30th since taking my entry Delta stock has increased from $55.45 per share to about $56.35 per share so that's about a return of 1.6 percent so you know since I've bought in my options Delta stock itself in one day has made a move of 1.6 percent you know nothing insane but decent right nothing crazy however here's a power of options at the moment the options I purchased have increased in value from a dollar 82 cents per option to two dollars and 35 cents per option during the same time now guys that is a return of 30 percent so again let your mind wrap around this I'm in front of my computer yesterday based upon the strategy that I use for trading Delta Airlines was a signal now I could have bought the regular shares of Delta Airlines and I'd be sitting here today with about a 1.6 percent profit you know that that's not going to bring me any closer towards my dreams however because I decided to buy the options on this same move again guys here's the power it's still Delta Airlines stock my entry everything is based off the same charts it is all the same when I pull the trigger I am choosing to buy the options and because I did that on this 1.6 percent move that the big stock itself has made those options have increased over 30 percent so there's the leverage of options guys stock moves a little bit over 1 percent my options have moved over 30 percent 
And now, I hate to get into math because math sucks, but this should just kind of drive home this point for you. With my $4,000 investment, my, my current profit is about $1,200 from this 30% move. So I invested $4,000 plus yesterday, guys. And as of today, my profit, which is still open, I haven't closed it yet, but I am up just about $1,100. $1, now, this was possible because I bought the options. So let's imagine instead of you know options, I bought the regular shares. In order, you know, in order to have made this same $1,200 profit from buying the regular shares of Delta, I would have had to invested over $80,000 in the stock. So let's look at the options side to the left here. On the options side, I invested $4,000 to make $1,200. On the regular shares side, guys, I would have had to invested $80,000 to make a $1,200 return. So that right there is just truly insane. For $4,000, I'm walking away with the same level of profits I would have if I had invested $80,000 in that stock. Now, I understand $4,000 on one trade is a pretty big size. Mind you, I've been doing this for years. I have experience. But again, guys, cut that in half. You know, Cut that in a quarter. For a $4,000 position size, I was able to control just about $80,000 worth of Delta Airlines stock. For myself, and I'm going to guess for 99.9% .9 of you watching this, you don't have account sizes where it's appropriate to put $80,000 into one trade on one stock. You know, that, that that's huge. I don't ever plan on having to do that because of this beauty of options. So again... Same stock, Delta Airlines, same time frame, same move, and because of my $4,000 investment, I'm up nicely versus having to invest $80,000. So, again, guys, that's huge. The really other great thing about you know this leverage is that you know it gives you level of freedoms that would be so much harder to reach. You know, again, go back to that last example. You know, I've made twelve hundred bucks here from my bedroom in the middle of a snowstorm over the last few days, and that's because of options. You know, I don't have eighty thousand dollars to put into a single trade, but I do have the four thousand. Now, some of you may not have four thousand, but you will have a thousand or a few hundred, and you can still walk away with much, much bigger returns than you would have gotten if you had bought in the regular shares. So, you know, here's one way I guess I would word it. If you've been trading for a few months, a year, whatever, and you haven't made the effort to learn options, you are literally robbing yourself of insane amounts of profits over the course of your entire trading career. You know, the distance it will take for someone to become, or the time it will take for someone to become financially independent from trading by trading options is drastically, drastically shorter than it would be if you were buying the regular shares. So, again, the beauty is the leverage, and that leverage just gets us to our goals and, and opens so many doors so much quicker. And this is why you need to learn trading options, guys. It's a skill that gives you freedom. Any anytime you have a skill set where you can relatively quickly and you know, you know, with with some sort of you know consistency, have investment returns of fifty to one hundred percent. You know, it's a short road until the day you reach the point where it's no longer a worry. You know, guys, when the day comes where you can take sizes of four or five thousand dollars in an options trade, that's it. You know, think of this: you take a four thousand dollar position in a stock op in op on options, and you get you know a fifty percent return, which with options you know does not take much. You know, there's two thousand bucks. You have one good trade a week. You're looking at a hundred grand plus a year. So, again, very powerful. Now, for my car guys, or you know. You know, any of you out there who aspire, you know, to have, whether it's, you know, a home or a, a car or, you know, take a great vacation or, you know, just enjoy, you know, the fruits of our labor as a trader, options get you there much faster. So, this is the Corvette Z06. It's a car I plan to buy um, early spring, early summer of 2018. Now, this is an $80,000 car and with no money down, I'm not putting money down because I wanted to trade. You know what I mean? 
with $80,000 car, no money down. I'm going to be looking at about $1,200 per month you know, to cover the payments. Now, let's step back. That's a huge car payment. I get that. But $1,200 a month comes to $300 per week. I just showed you guys kind of an example of the power of options. 50 to 100% you know, profits, very easy, you know, very realistic. So guys, you know, if I need to make an extra 300 bucks a week you know, to pay for this $80,000 supercar, again, I could take a $300 size and I need one good trade a week to cover that. With my larger capital, guys, you know, I take a $1,000 size in a matter of minutes. I could have that 300 bucks, and it's just this leverage of options makes so many things possible so much quicker. So let that inspire you. You know, very daunting, and you know, it, it seems crazy to have to come up with 1,200 bucks a month for a freaking car. But guys, you know, if I can be taking you know three to 500 dollar investment sizes each week to pay for this car, that's insane. That's insane. So, so think of that for those of you who aspire, you know, whatever it is, you have your dream home, you know, you have a dream vacation, you want to go here with your family. Again, I'm going to be investing, you know, three, 500 bucks in any given trade over and, and it's going to be spitting out the return possible to pay for this car. So that's just an example of what the power of options can do for you guys. And again, big control. I, I want this really to sink in your mind, guys, because this is the power. For $4,000, I was able to control $80,000 worth of Delta stock. Now imagine I had doubled that size and done eight to $10,000 of options on Delta. You know, now I'm controlling $160,000 to $200,000 worth of Delta Airlines stock. That is huge, guys. So be inspired. The leverage that is here in the options world for us smaller guys, and by smaller, I mean we're not the billionaire hedge fund managers. You know, we're the independent traders. We're the small fish in this pond. But because of the leverage of options, we can really get some skin in the game and make some meaningful profits in a short time. So definitely be inspired, guys. You know, so this is all, all good and well. I'm, I'm sure you guys are, are entertained by the idea of having profits like this, but how do we find these opportunities? Now, you know, this is really where the work comes in, and, you know, and this is the magic of it. How do we find these opportunities? Guys, the game is a market of supply and demand. It's like any other market in the world. It's like a lemonade stand, a fruit stand, your homie who sells sneakers. It's a market. And in a market, when the demand for any given product rises, so does the price. I like to always use this example because it's just so simple, but it works. Imagine you have a lemonade stand. And on any given day, you got about five to ten people swinging by to grab your lemonade, right? And you're selling your lemonade for, call it a buck. Well, guys, over the course of, you know, the next few weeks, if you go from having, you know, ten people a day to twenty people a day lining up and thirty people a day and so on and so on, because the demand for your lemonade is now rising, you as the producer can request, you know, a higher price for that lemonade. And because the demand has risen... Not everyone's going to be willing to pay a buck fifty for your lemonade, but because the demand has risen, and now instead of ten people, you got fifty people lined up around the block for your lemonade, you can raise the price. In the markets, when the large institutions, you know, the guys on Wall Street who have billions of billions of dollars, when they have a demand for a stock, whether it be Apple, Google, whatever it is, when they're expressing demand, that is when the price rises. You know, they control the game. They have the billions of dollars that it takes to actually move prices. You know, I could take my entire account and put it into Apple stock, guys, and the stock is not even going to flinch. I don't have enough capital to move, you know, a stock of that size. But when all of Wall Street, when the big boys, when they have a demand for any given sector or stock, they got enough cash to move those prices higher. So, again, those are the whales and we're the little fish. Now, if we're the little fish in this game, you know, how do we stand a chance? And the answer is simple, guys. We follow the money. Remember, this whole game, this whole market is driven by the institutions. They are the ones with the capital to control the game. 
at any given time these large institutions are rotating money in and out of all of the major sectors so for you newer traders a sector is like a family of stocks that all belong to the same category so the tech sector that's where you have your apples your googles your netflix etc the financial sector you know that's home to your goldman sachs your bank of americas your jps and so on and so on and so on at any given time these guys on wall street are rotating in and out of these sectors so for us to follow the money that first starts with always having an awareness of where is the money flowing throughout these sectors so for you guys out there who do not monitor sectors at the moment it's something you definitely want to begin to do again because the only chance we have here is to always follow the money we want to trade with the wind at our back and the wind is those guys on wall street so these are the sectors you should monitor at any given time and here's a symbol for each sector you have xlk the technology sector xlf financial xle the energy sector xlv healthcare and then you got your consumer staples discretionary material sector utility sector real estate sector and the transportation sector again big money is always either going in or out of any of any given one of these sectors at any given time along with these sectors super important to watch the market leaders because big money is also flowing in and out of the market leading stocks at any given time and the reason being is that these stocks are super liquid meaning they are big enough to accommodate the massive sizes that these hedge funds on wall street are taking so along with the sectors on the previous page definitely want to keep your eye on apple google netflix facebook nvidia tesla paypal goldman sachs baba and for some reason i'm missing the biggest and most obvious one which is amazon so you got your market leaders and you got your sectors so i like to tell every one of my members here at focus trades it's a two-step process the first step is to have an awareness at all times of where the money is going now how do we do that all right so now over here to my charts and again you know follow the money strategy the first step is to always have an awareness of where the money is going in the market so every single day multiple times per day in the morning at night i look at this desktop here on my trading platform and what this is guys it's a chart of every major sector that i just listed to you guys so here's a tech chart xlk you got xlf financials and again this is what I like to call my bird's eye view. This is where I can kind of step back and you know, look at each of these charts and say, hey, you know, where's the money going? So let's do that together right now. And again, it's easy. Take a quick glance. All right. So as you can see, XLK, that's a tech sector. Nice uptrend lately. XLF, nice uptrend. You know, healthcare, nice uptrend. Consumer discretionary, energy transportation so the, the reason i love to look at the market through this lens for one reason is that it kind of gives me a feel of you know where we are as an overall market you know and as you can see as of this webinar we are pretty extended you know all, all across the board here but again step one where is the money going so what i want to take you guys back to is a few recent moves that we've seen here as a team so it's a game of supply and demand as traders you know how do we figure out you know what is demand H how do we see demand on a chart if these big guys are the ones who move prices you know how do we identify that and for those of you that have been trading with me for a while this is all going to sound very very familiar but the number one thing you want to focus on as an independent trader if you're looking to follow the money is volume now what volume is simply guys is a measurement of how much money is flowing either in and out of a stock at any given time so to give you a good example of volume let's take a look here at the netflix chart now these bars up here guys are you know the price bars for netflix stock and down here is my volume again volume is a measurement of how much money is entering a stock 
Game of supply and demand. Volume is our demand. And when demand rises, price rises. Notice here, prior to Netflix, Netflix recent big move, the volume was really quiet, guys. You know, pretty low. And then all of a sudden, it started breaking through. Let me get that over there. Here we go. So we go from no volume, no volume, a.k.a. no demand for Netflix stock from the big boys until all of a sudden those big boys woke up and they just wanted Netflix hand over fist. So again, as the demand rose, here's our volume. As the demand rose, as did the price of the stock. So if it's volume that makes things move, then only naturally, guys, our job or my job at least, and what I suggest everyone's job be, is you monitor these sectors at any given time to see where the biggest increases in volume are. So a great example of that is the recent move in finance. Now, this move goes back to just about late November, but it's a great example for this because it is follow the money in its truest form. And it's going to be a great example for you guys to see how you know these sectors move. Now, keep in mind, guys, a sector is weighted. So what that means is XLF, the financial sector, if you buy a share of XLF, you are indirectly getting a tenth of a share of Goldman Sachs, you know, a quarter of a share of JP Morgan. You know, these are weighted. You know, a share of this is made up of, you know, fractions of shares of the biggest financial stocks. So why is that interesting to note? Let's take a look at the recent move we had back in November. Now, this was one of my bigger weeks of the year where I was able to make about $15,000 in that short week. Again, demand is what moves prices higher. And volume, guys, is how we measure demand. Nothing going on crazy on the volume financial sector holding steady until all of a sudden, in one week, a massive amount of demand for financials came in as a as a team you know with focus trades and members and myself because we are sitting here every day and constantly monitoring the sectors trying to follow the money as a team we were very easily able to identify hey look what's going on in the financial sector huge increase in volume aka huge increase in demand and i know i'm repetitive but it's just to drive home these simple points that are so important when demand rises the price for that sector and the stocks that make up that sector rises. So XLF, as soon as that demand came in, guys, made a very nice move. Now, like I said, they move in packs. When the sector goes, as does the stocks in that sector. So let's look at Bank of America here. Again, same time frame, and the demand came in at the same time. So because XLF is weighted, meaning when money is coming in here, it is indirectly going into the biggest names in finance. As soon as XLF saw this huge demand, guys, Bank of America stock followed suit. Slow charts out here in the snow, guys. Slow charts. All right. Okay, so again, when XLF made its move, you know, look at that as the mothership. And everyone else in that party is going along with it. So the financial sector saw that big demand, guys. Goldman Sachs, at the same time, saw that demand and made a beautiful move. Bank of America, in that same time frame, money coming into the sector as a whole. And Bank of America made a nice move as well. Take a look at another financial stock. And you bet. Made a nice move as well. And take a look at one more here in Citigroup. Again, made a nice move as well. So that's a simple concept to understand, right? When demand for something is rising, the price rises. So when the entire financial sector sees a large demand, guys, like we saw back here in November, the price is going to rise and the price for all of those individual names, the Goldman's, you know, all the big name financial stocks, they moved as well. Here's what's even more interesting to note. Over here when the demand was low, you know, 
the financial sector basically was going nowhere here guys you know kind of trading sideways and again no demand no increase in price now let's take a look at those names again and they were doing the same exact thing so the individual holdings you know of a sector you know the biggest holdings they just simply mimic whatever the sector ETF itself is doing you know again Bank of America basically going sideways and one more example to wrap this home guys is tech nice recent move here in tech now everyone is obsessed with trading Apple Facebook Google Netflix you know all the big time names but there's a time and a place to trade tech stocks when is the time the time is when there is an increase in demand in that sector look at all the increases in demand here we saw in the tech sector when that started some of the best possible moves that I've seen began in the biggest names so again demand for XLK which is the tech sector rises which you can see through our volume what happened to Google stock huge move what happened to another big time tech stock in Facebook big time move how about Netflix big time move and again it all started for those individual names when the whole ship the sector that it's in itself began to see that demand so as traders and you know and as you know as a mentor to everyone on focus trades what I preach is that at all given times guys have an awareness of where the money is going because you see it happen in real time and you can quickly act so let's go back to a trade I had last week or a few weeks ago again I'm sitting here every day I'm monitoring this I'm looking for increases in demand well this was an interesting one from a few weeks ago this is IYR the real estate sector and again I'm just looking at these every day guys and what am I waiting for I'm waiting for those big fat juicy obvious increases in demand and again we see demand from volume this is a measurement of how much money is coming in here that's demand when the demand began to rise so did the real estate sector itself and in this short move right here one two three four bars this is a 195 minute chart in just a few days I was able to close for a 50% return this is a quiet sector it's really on nobody's radar but because I followed the money in there 50% return in a few days so again having the awareness of where the money is going is huge and then just having the willingness to follow is the second step so for an options trader such as myself I do everything in my power to at all times know exactly where the big money is going across all these sectors and again you know why is that so important it's because those guys you know the big boys of Wall Street when they have a demand for a stock they have so much money they're putting such large position sizes into that stock that the prices move it gets crazy with options guys the smallest moves can produce some crazy returns recent trade here in XLP again for those of you watching this you should already see what I was seeing here dead in the water consumer staples no interest until all of a sudden like crazy huge increases in demand I caught just a portion of this move guys for a 60% return that's the power of options I promise you during the course of this move no one was talking about this sector there was no news bits there was nothing going on except for the fact that for whatever reason the big boys on Wall Street wanted some XLP now I don't care what their reasoning is I don't care why they want it they're the ones who can move shit so when I see them again there they are there's that demand when I see them I simply follow guys and a great analogy to use is that these guys on Wall Street are like massive cruise ships and us little traders we are the dinghies that are held together by you know some tape and some nails how do we find you know where the fish are if we're, if we're these guys in these little dinghies we simply follow these massive massive you know cruise cruise fishing ships because they can't hide they're so big guys you know if we got a two hundred dollar boat and we want to fish where the two million dollar boats are going 
guess what? Follow them. They got the technology. They got the ability to narrow down where all the fish are. We don't. But guess what? These fuckers are so big, we can simply follow them, and by default, we are playing in the exact waters we want to. Here is a huge fishing boat. It cannot hide. Anytime I see this, those are the waters I want to play in. And I'm just going to flip through a bunch of examples right now to drive this home, guys. Facebook stock. There they are. There's our buddies on Wall Street. That demand so big it can't hide. There's the cruise ship. That's where we want to be swimming and fishing. Follow the money. That was a huge trade. Netflix. Again, they wanted it. They're all over it. Big time demand. Guys, we simply need to follow them to take place in these big moves. Look at Amazon already this year. Huge increases in demand after nothing. And huge fruitful returns take a look at the real estate move again dead this thing is doing absolutely nothing now how many times you've gotten a trade and it just does nothing guys the reason being is that there's probably no demand at that point for that trade so again when you see that increase in demand that is the time to take your entry you're following the big boys because they are the ones who can move prices higher and with options if you can have the discipline at any given time to know exactly where the money is going and to simply follow it with options, you're trading something that can easily produce 50 to 100% returns on whatever amount you invested in the matter of a day or a few days. So it's a very simple approach, guys, but the beauty of it is that it's based around, you know, the one truth of the market. And the one truth of the market is that demand is what moves prices higher. And if you simply step back and say, hey, the only people who can control enough demand are these large institutions on Wall Street, we should probably trade the same shit they are. How do we do that? It's volume. That's our indication of where they're going, and we simply follow. When you combine this simple approach with the power of options, guys, it opens literally it opens you to a whole new world of possibilities, not only in your trading, but more importantly, outside of trading. You know, I've had members over the last few weeks message me saying they've paid off cars from some of these options trades, or they've made, you know, one option trade on Monday and it paid for their bills for the entire month. You know, that's the shit that fires me up. And without the leverage that options provides to us, things like that simply aren't possible with these levels of capital that many of us are working with. So, again guys, options are incredibly powerful. When you can follow the money and always stay in tune where with wherever the waves are going in the markets, if you're doing that trading options at any given time, you're just opening yourself to some huge potential rewards. So, I want to give a quick shout out to the Focus Trades members cuz over the last few weeks you guys have absolutely killed it by following the money. And here's another great example, guys. Alibaba stock made a huge move as of late. When did it start to make this move? Now look what was going on here. No volume. When did this move begin? Bang. As soon as that volume, aka demand, for Alibaba came in. As a trader, you need to be completely unbiased. I don't care why they want to own Alibaba. I don't care what their investment thesis is or whatever reason is is irrelevant. Those dudes can make shit go higher. And when I see this, I know that's them and I'm going to follow them. So as an independent trader, trade like a magnet. On this simple move here last week in Baba, you know, based upon my math as a group, we made anywhere from ten to $15,000 of profit in just that week. Some members paid off loans. Some members had one $2,000 profits. I myself invested $2,000 on this bar right here and sold very early on the following bar. And again, guys, that was one day. One day, 102% return. I invested two k and made two k That's the power of options. Even if you don't have an account of my size, you could have invested a hundred bucks Monday morning. By Monday evening, you are selling for a hundred dollar profit. An extra hundred bucks a week is meaningful. I don't care who you are or how much you make. 
a hundred bucks still has a lot of value out there in the real world. You know, that's five tanks of gas. You know, that's two date nights with your girl, whatever it may be. So that's the power of options, guys. It really opens the door for us smaller traders to start making meaningful profits in much shorter time. So I want to wrap this up by simply saying if you are a trader and you have either at the moment no experience in options or I've never even put in the effort to learn options, you are truly robbing yourself of some potentially massive returns by not making the small effort to learn options. Again, guys, you see my stories on Instagram, you know, you see me consistently having five ten thousand dollar weeks, you know, go back to November when I had that fifteen thousand dollar week. It's possible because of two things only. One is just simply the leverage the options provide. And two is because of the way I view the markets. It's a game of supply and demand. As independent traders, at any given time, we need to be where the demand is. And focus trades can definitely help you guys with that. So for all of you new traders, if you haven't checked this out yet, I highly suggest it. Now, I myself have been trading for over 10 years now. I started to learn the game when I was about 14, 15 from my father, who was a pro. And in August, I started Focus Trades as my way of connecting with other traders and sharing the information that I've learned over the years from my mentors and my own experience in an affordable way. So membership is $99 a year. There are no upgrade plans, no other fees. And um, you know, I'm humble about my trading profits, but I won't be humble about focus trades. There is no other group doing it like we are at this price. A hundred dollars a year. You can compare that to some guys right now who are trying to sell DVDs for nine hundred and fifty bucks and challenge groups for six thousand dollars. I don't want that from you guys. I would never expect that from you guys. I've been blessed with this life I have with my mentors. And at 25, I'm living my dream life. So I feel compelled to share back and give this knowledge. So we are about 150 members deep at the moment. And I invite you guys to check us out. We have video lessons on all the major topics of trading, the basics, options, as well as a handful of videos on my follow the money strategy. Each morning, I upload a video called the focus list to the members area. That is just a brief preview of what I'm looking for for the day, my game plan, and the setups to watch. And then to kind of feed off of that focus list, each evening I send out a nightly review video where I review that day's action, my personal trades, and what I'm looking for tomorrow. So focus trades is a great place to get your education and also, you know, virtually kind of trade side by side with me. Now, the other great thing about Focus Trades is our family. Here's an example of our group chat from today, and these guys just do not stop. I mean, this chat is going nonstop all day. Sometimes I wake up at 3 in the morning to take a piss, and these guys are in this chat, and they're just going off. So if you're a new trader or if you're trading alone, 99 bucks a year, you can get a great education. You get access to me. I'm here to help you. All of our materials and you have a family of about 150 deep that are standing behind you at any given time. It's amazing to see the camaraderie in this group chat. You got guys helping each other, sending each other charts, suggestions, critiques all day long. And I can honestly say to any of you Focus Trades members watching, you guys feel much more like family to me at this point. Um, I don't look at you as members. I don't look at you as, you know, mentees. You, know, you guys are my trading buddies. And it means the world to me to have you. So, Focus Trades, guys, you can definitely come check us out. We would love to have you on the team. And until then, follow the money.